that way and kind of go straight through, or you might not get it in there. Probably hug the inside. Yep, I mean, the inside. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. My name is Big Cat Devin in case you're new here. And today's a Tuesday, so it's my coordinating day. And we're actually wrapping up the day right now and we just finished moving Nat to her new enclosure. So that's gonna be in this video. It's kind of at the end, but it's gonna be pretty cool to see. Uh, so definitely stay tuned for that. And I hope you all enjoyed today's video. And if any of you do have an Instagram and you're interested in following me or checking me out, just type in Big Cat Devin on Instagram and you'll find me. So I'm just heading in here to get another pole so that we can lock up Seth in his cage or lock him up again just because over the weekend we're actually going to be taking out his platform because he's been hurting his ankle when he runs around and we don't want him to end up jumping off the platform and hurting it even more so we're just going to go in there lock him up so that it's ready to be taken down when the people come to take down his platform Unfortunately, you're not going out yet, Seth. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, don't step in that. That'll be a nasty step. <laughs> Hi, Seth. Seth, come over here. <laughs> hey, Seth. Come here, dude. So he is now locked up over there. So come the weekend, we'll actually be taking that platform down and out of his cage. Seth is like, what are you doing? We're looking for your paw prints, bud. We're gonna see if we can make any casts of them. See if we can find any. Got his lake over here. And he has really destroyed that tree. That's intense. I know, his tree He has messed that tree up. <laughs> Here's kind of a all right one, but it's definitely messed up on that side. Are you sneaking, Seth? What are you doing? Crazy. <laughs> crazy tiger. Little bird. <laughs> I think it's so tiny. I'm not gonna step on it, obviously. Come on. <laughs> Hi, sneaky boy. You can't see me. <laughs> All right, so we didn't find any paw prints, but we gave it a good shot. So I've just finished loading all these boxes onto the golf cart. They're full of gloves, I believe. Not entirely sure what's in the bigger ones. I'll have to check those when I get back to food prep, but we use a lot of latex gloves when we're taking care of all the cats. So that's what these boxes are full of. So right now, I'm going to be heading over to Hoover and to pick up any of the food that he left. I'm guessing he probably left most of it because he doesn't really like to eat during the day. But we were just trying to see if he'd want to eat. And then after that, I'm going to be setting up a camera over at Hoover so that we can monitor him when he does eat. To actually set up that camera, I'm going to need an extension cord. So I'm just taking one from over here and then we'll use that to set it up. I'm just going to see if I can do that, pop that open, and then we'll put this wire through here, and then attempt to plug it in right here, and then this will be the extension cord for the Hoover camera. Alright, so I've got that plugged in, 
And now I'm just gonna run this wire down to the camera over there, and then it should be set up. Put the wire down over here. The light's blue, so I think that's good. But Catherine's gonna go check to see if it's actually on and recording. Now we're gonna try and get this food out of here that he did not want to eat. Isn't that right, Mr. Hoover? Hi. Let's see if Hoover actually ate anything. Yeah, he ate almost three pounds. So that's pretty good, especially for the day. And he ate about 10 pounds last night, so that's awesome. I've just cut up some red meat and grabbed some chicken drums for Keisha. So now I'm just making my way over there and hopefully she'll want to eat some food. Keisha, Keisha, are you ready, Keisha? Hello, are you ready for some treats? I got the treats. I'm coming. Keisha, how are you doing today? You feeling all right? So Keisha ate a decent amount this morning but did not eat her whole diet, so that's why I'm back at her today, or right now. Hey, Keish, look over here. I've got treats. Hey, Keish, look over here. There you go. Chew, and then just pull it. Nicely done. Do you want to look over here? Make it a lot easier if you look. Oh, look at that. Thank you. Nice work, miss. She's liking the red, which is nice. You got it. Nice. Let's keep it up. I got lots of red, and then at the end, I got some chicken drums. <laughs> Kishi, look over here. Here you go. I was a tad worried she wasn't gonna like the red because last Tuesday she was not a fan, but she's liking it right now, which is awesome. Keep it up. I got a couple more pieces of red and then it's on to the chicken drums, Quiche. Quiche is the last piece of red. Do you not want it? Not a fan? Oh, no, well, there you go. Oh, just kidding. All right, we'll try chicken drums. And the only problem I'm seeing here is that these are a tad frozen. I don't know if she's gonna want that. You got it? Bite. She's like, these are cold. Oh, hi, can you eat that? No, I promise it's good. Miss Keish. <laughs> Let's see if she'll take another one. I'm just gonna try and massage this one a little bit just to see if I can get all the little icy bits off of it. All right, Keish, this should be a little bit better. Here. I promise it's a little bit better. Hey, look here. Nice job. There you go. She's eating that one. So she likes the massaged chicken drum. I'll have to do that for the rest of these, I guess. Oh, nope, you're not gonna eat that? I was wrong. Well, she decided to eat all the red, which is good. So that was probably, I don't know, maybe three-ish pounds. So I'm gonna come back and try her a little bit later. Maybe I'll bring her some more red, or if the chicken drums are thawed by then, I'll probably just bring those back. I've just cut up some wire. And then we just loaded a cage on a golf cart, a little bit of, like, over there. And the plan is to move Nat, our armor leopard. And now I'm just in here looking for some poles that we can attach to the cage so that we can move her. And then hopefully we'll be able to move her. She got fed this morning, so she's probably not gonna be too food motivated, but hopefully we'll be able to do it. The poles were actually not in there. So now I'm just kinda on the hunt looking for the poles. They've gotta be around here somewhere. Now let's see if these fit. Yeah, it's gonna be close. Oh yeah, they fit. So 
So it'll be like that. Yeah. It's the little shorter one, okay. so it should be good. Okay. Should be good. Now we just need to try and get in it. And then before I head out there, I'm just gonna grab some hay, just so that the cage will be nice and soft for Nat when we do put her in there for her little travel. I have got a very full golf cart. All right, off to Nat's cage. Okay. Come back and just flatten them. So, so we could not, file those down, like, right? Just so yeah. they're not a little bit. Just flatten them a little pokey bit. for her. So okay. if you look, I think it's in the toolbox in the back of my Bridget, grab uh, Gertie and bring the cage over to Nat's cage for me. And then, oh, the Gertie's kind of making the angle weird to push it in. There we go. And then we can set it up for her. And we're going to the lockout over there. And we'll probably have to lift up above this gate. She's like, I'd like some treats. Can you grab the pole and the door? Yep. Let's see if she can get her. Sweet. So she's in the lockout. Now I just have to get her in the cage. Ready? One, two, three. I got it. I hug the inside. Yep, hug I'm in. the inside. Okay, you guys are going to need to hug the inside or you're not going to make it. Push we taking our in through the piece of cage? No, we're just going to set the cage up right next to it.
You got it, Nat. New home. <laughs> Other way. It's open. There you go. All right, shut. <laughs> so it is a couple hours later. We've finished moving that and things like that. But now I'm just trying Keisha again to see if she'll want to eat. And as you can see, she has still left those two turkey drums or chicken drums. Hey, Keish! Come here, honey. Look right here. I've got some more food if you want it. Keisha, Keish! Come here. I might have to go get the longer stick. Well, she just grabbed the piece off the stick. It just barely reached her though, so we'll see if she'll eat another. I'm gonna go back to food prep and grab the longer stick because that is just not working. She's not budging and I can't reach her. So I'm gonna go get that really quick. All right, so I have got the extra long stick and her food. Now let's see if she will cooperate and eat. Here you go. Can't really see your face. Here. You got it. Nice job. Miss Keisha. Look here. Right here. You got it. Good work. Let's see if she would like this chicken drum anymore. Now that it's nice and thawed, here you go. <laughs> oh, you don't want that? Oh no, there she goes. Oh, no, she doesn't want that. All right. Oh, maybe. I guess she is not gonna eat that. So I'm just gonna leave her alone. Yeah, I'm gonna leave you alone. But um, she did eat a decent amount today. So that's good at least. But it would have been nice if she maybe wanted to eat a couple more pieces. But she'll be all right. She'll get fed tomorrow morning, and she'll, I'm sure, eat then. And then pretty much everyone has left as of right now. It's like 6.30 or so. And the last thing of the day is we feed Mr. Hoover his PM diet. And since he doesn't like to eat from any of us anymore, now that he lives in here and likes to hide in the middle of his enclosure, as you can maybe see, he's behind that tree right there. We just toss his food on this slab here, we leave it overnight, and then he kind of just grazes on it throughout the night. And Hoover's pretty much favorite thing to do is just eat at like midnight, 2 a.m., 3 a.m., something like that. So we'll just toss all his food in here, leave it for him overnight, and then tomorrow morning we'll check to see if he's eaten. And last night he ended up eating about 10 pounds of food or so, which is great. So I'm leaving him another 10 pounds tonight in hopes that he'll actually end up eating that. And then whoever's in tomorrow morning will pick it up, weigh it, and then we'll see how much he ended up eating. Hoover's just got a bunch of chicken drums, chicken breasts, chicken thighs, and some mush. He definitely loves his chicken. And then we'll just pop in the last couple pieces right on top. And hopefully tomorrow morning, we'll come back and there'll be nothing left. All right, Hoove, have a good night. And that is gonna wrap up today's very eventful day. I hope you all did enjoy. If you did enjoy this video, definitely hit that like button. Thank you for all the likes and all the recent videos. And if you're new here and you do wanna join the family, hit that subscribe button, join the family, and also turn on those post notifications just so you don't miss a video because I do post pretty randomly. And I hope to see you all in the next one.